hey y'all welcome back to the channel for another flipping banger now y'all know i have been like the worst at making these videos but honestly guys i've actually been pretty but anyways as you can see by the title i'm going to be telling you why it is important to have a wallet okay so making this video i'm making an assumption that you own some crypto assets so bitcoin ethereum ripple tether leather or leather leather whatever else altcoins are going to be created guys it's insane to imagine how many new altcoins exist compared to three years ago but anyways so guys your privacy is literally everything and your private key is the most important thing when it comes to your crypto assets right because when you own your crypto, what you actually own is a private key. Now, you actually need to make sure that this key is really safe and secure to actually have your funds or your coins or whatever that it is. And the best place that your crypto is actually safe is offline. Now, if you are keeping your crypto in some sort of exchange, you are putting it at risk to, first of all, being hacked. Second of all, I've seen that CoinSquare has been in a bunch of shit about, like, fake trades and fake funds so people are buying stuff but they're that's not actually what they're buying so that is creating a bit of discrepancies for people and people are not having things that they bought so that is why it is super super important to have some sort of not even a wallet you don't want to have a wallet you want to have something else okay if not like an online wallet like let's say a coinbase wallet because you're still keeping your assets online now when they're online they are obviously susceptible to any sort of anything that can happen online so you want to make sure you actually secure it with a hardware wallet now i will be explaining to you what a hardware wallet actually is because based on my research from a long time ago and recently because recently i've become obsessed with this right so i know that a hardware wallet as of today is literally the most important way and offers literally the best protection for your key and like i said earlier in the video your key is literally uh, the only thing that you kind of own right it's your key is basically your crypto if that makes any sense now what i'm using is the ledger okay because first of all you can leave your crypto inside whatever it is and guess what it's not online, which is good for you. And you can still access and see your funds or assets live. So I really like that. And it's the safest. There's not as many risks. I don't even think there's any. But when I think of one, I will definitely update this video. And I'm going to talk about Ledger because honestly, they're the only ones I know about. Like, I actually know about, like, others but honestly i'm not in the best position to talk about it honestly i don't even know how to use it yet so i will tell y'all once i have that info because you know uh last year in may um the exchange that i was using got hacked and thankfully my coins were not hacked or something but um personal information and data was kind of link le leaked or something my only issue with the ledger is this what happens later on when those new kind of, let's say, hardware wallets are not compatible with this now? What happens, let's say, if my crypto is in, let's say, the Nano X or whatever, and later on, it doesn't support, let's say, Bitcoin in that time period? Honestly, that's me just thinking about it, but whatever. But anyways, guys, let me tell you about um, Ledger Live and basically how you can use them or like how they kind of help you so you can send and receive coins using ledger live so ledger live is the app you can earn crypto rewards while holding and who doesn't like to earn money you can check your balance in real time even when your assets are offline which is perfect you know you you don't run the same risks as you would having your money in an exchange and by the way if your your um coins that you have are not supported which i honestly don't think so because they support 23 coins and more than 1250 erc20 tokens so they support kind of a lot of things but if not you can literally use and manage it using other wallets and honestly that's the end of this story these are the reasons y'all i ended up talking the most i was only supposed to tell you that you should get your money off of 
the exchanges y'all and put it in a hardware wallet very 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 important you know a long time ago i knew i needed a ledger and all of that i knew that like three years ago but i did not do it because i did not actually understand the importance i did not literally understand that i don't actually own my crypto if i do not have the key yikes okay so that's why i'm making this video kind of for you guys if you know already skip over if you don't yeah this video may be all over the place but y'all know i'm always all over the place because i talk a little too much but yeah that's on period don't forget to subscribe like this video you know whatever else turn your post notifications on to your notified time to post a video which is not every single day anymore clearly but i'll figure it out